If something is a living thing, it's called an organism. And all organisms share certain characteristics that distinguish them from non-living things. They grow and develop. They respond to changes in their environment. They obtain and use energy. They move either internally or externally and are made up of one or more cells. In this video, we are going to explore a characteristic shared by all organisms, the ability to produce new young of the same kind. This process is called reproduction. And as we will discover, different organisms reproduce in different ways. Reproduction in plants. Most flowering plants reproduce by producing seeds. These seeds develop inside fruits, which help protect them and aid in their dispersal. Some non-flowering plants also produce seeds, such as conifers and cycads. Unlike flowering plants, these plants do not produce flowers. Instead, they form seeds in cones or exposed structures. And the seeds are usually dispersed by wind. Under the right conditions, usually water and warmth, each seed has the potential to germinate and grow into a new plant. Ferns and mosses reproduce differently. They are non-flowering and instead of seeds, they produce spores, tiny reproductive units that can grow into new plants when they land in a suitable environment. Ferns have spore cases on the undersides of their leaves, while mosses release spores from small capsules. These plants rely on moisture for reproduction since their spores need water to develop into new plants. Some plants reproduce asexually, meaning they can produce new plants without seeds or spores. This can happen through structures like runners in strawberry plants, bulbs like onions, or cuttings from stems and leaves that grow into new plants. Reproduction in animals. Animals reproduce in different ways, but all aim to produce new individuals of the same kind. Most animals reproduce sexually, meaning they require both a male and a female to produce offspring. Many animals reproduce by laying eggs, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and insects all lay eggs that hatch into young. Some eggs have hard shells, like those of birds, while others have soft, jelly-like coverings, such as amphibian eggs. Most reptiles and birds protect their eggs until they hatch, 
but many fish and amphibians leave them in water to develop on their own. Mammals, including humans, reproduce by giving birth to live young. The young develop inside the mother's body, receiving nutrients and oxygen to grow. When fully developed, it is born and continues to grow outside the mother's body. Female mammals also produce milk to feed their young, which helps them survive and develop. Reproduction in fungi. Fungi reproduce in different ways, depending on the species. Many fungi, like mushrooms, release spores from special structures. For example, mushrooms have gills under their caps, where spores are produced and then spread by wind or water. Puffballs are fungi with a round spherical shape and release clouds of spores when they burst open. Like the seeds of plants, under the right conditions, each spore has the potential to grow into a new organism. Molds, such as those found on bread and fruit, also reproduce by producing spores. These spores form in spore cases, which eventually break open and release them into the air. When the spores land in a warm, moist place, they grow into new mold. Some fungi, like yeast, reproduce asexually by budding, where a small part of the cell grows and separates to form a new organism. Reproduction in microorganisms. Microorganisms, such as bacteria and protists, reproduce quickly, allowing them to spread and survive in many environments. Most bacteria reproduce asexually by splitting. A single bacterial cell grows and then divides into two identical cells. This process happens quickly, especially in warm and moist conditions. Protists, like amoebas and paramecia, also reproduce mainly by splitting, where one cell divides into two new ones. Reproduction is essential for the survival of all living things. While the process differs among plants, animals, fungi, and microorganisms, the goal is the same, to create new individuals of the same kind. Without reproduction, life on Earth simply would not exist. Thanks for watching.